Hey guys and welcome to this lesson which is This Is Love by Will I Am. Now I'm going to teach you the entire song so if you want to learn it just keep on watching. So I'll play a little part first and then I'll tell you exactly how to play it. Okay so the left hand plays a C which is the middle C so C and then C again D and E flat. And the right hand plays E flat, C, G, E flat, C, G, and then E flat. And you combine it like this. You play together, right, right, together, right, right, together, left. Okay, so like this. Okay, then the left hand plays an F. And an E flat, and an E flat again. And the right hand plays A flat, C, F, G, E flat, B flat, G, E flat. And you combine it like this. You play together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, so you will get this. Then the left hand plays the B flat, and again, and again. And the right hand plays F, D, B flat, F, D, B flat, F, D. Okay, you command it like this. You play together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, so like this. And then the left hand plays an E flat, a D, an E flat, and a D again. And the right hand plays G, E flat, B flat, F, D, B flat, and G, E flat. Okay, come on, like this, you play together, right, right, together, right, right, together, together. Okay, so now the entire sheet in slow motion. Okay, so like this. Now I don't want you to worry about how many times to play each part and when you need to play them because at the end of this lesson I will tell you exactly that. I would also like to point out that you can download the sheets which I use above the piano by clicking the link in the description box down below. That will take you to my website where you can download the sheets for this lesson and for any other lesson here on YouTube. Okay, so now let's take a little look at the second part. Okay, so pretty cool part here. The left hand plays a C octave, and again, and again. And the right hand plays C and G together, and then E flat C, and you'll do that again. And then you play just C and G together, and the E flat. Okay, so like this. Okay, and if you combine it, you play together. Right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, so like this. And then the left hand plays an F octave. And then an E flat octave. And again. And the right hand plays C and A flat together. F, C, B flat and G together. E flat, B flat, and B flat and G together. And an E flat. Okay, so like this. Okay, you command it like this, you play left and right together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, so like this. Then the left hand plays a B flat octave, and again, and again. And the right hand plays B flat and F together, D, B flat, and you do that again. And then just B flat and F together, and a D. Okay, so like this. And you command it like this, you play together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, so like this. 
and then the left hand plays an E flat octave and a B flat octave for two times. And the right hand plays B flat and G together, E flat, B flat, and then B flat and F together, D, B flat, and then B flat and F together again, and a D. Okay, so like this. And you command it like this, you play together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, so like this. So this entire sheet in slow motion goes like this. Like this. Now let's take a little look at the next sheet. Okay, and this part is optional because you do not have to play this. Basically, sheet 2, which is the previous sheet, will be repeating over and over again. But if you like to play this part in between, then that's fine. So I will teach you that anyway. So you play C octave in the left hand, F octave, E flat octave, B flat octave, an E flat octave, and a B flat octave again. And the right hand plays C, E flat, G, A flat, C, F, G, B flat, E flat, F, B flat, D, G, B flat, E flat, and F, B flat, D again. Okay, you basically just play chords here and you can see how many times you need to play the chord, uh, how many counts you need to play it in the blue numbers. Okay, so like this, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two okay but you can play it uh, however you want and if you want to learn how to play chords better then please take a little look at my basic chord lesson okay so now let's take a little look at how many times to play each part and when you need to play them but before i tell you that i would like to remind you to download the sheets which i use above the piano by clicking the link in the description box down below because they come in very handy especially in this part because you can print them out and the sheets are numbered so you will know exactly which sheet you need to play when Okay, so you obviously start out by playing sheet number one, which is this. And you play it for two times. And you play it right after each other. Okay, so you are ending like this. And then you just continue by playing it again. Etc. Then you play sheet number two, which is this. Etc. And you play it just for four times. Then you play sheet number three. And you play that eight times. Then you play sheet number two again. Etc. And you play it for six times. Then you play sheet number three again. Etc. And you play it for six times. Then you play sheet number two again. Etc. And you play it two times. And then you play sheet number three again. etc and now you play it for eight times and that will be the end of the song so if you like this lesson please give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel to stay tuned of any of my new lessons here on youtube hope to see you guys very soon goodbye